Uh, not necessarily easy to answer, but being pretty new to Street Fighter V, do you have any tricks or stuff I should practice? Yes. Am I? Okay. Oh. I got you. Here's what you gotta do, my friend. If you haven't already done it, it's absolutely, absolutely... How do you say... I think imperative is a too strong of a word, and it sounds authoritative. Absolutely imperative. Uh, but what I would highly suggest is... Kami, I think, maybe is a good example. You have to program free frame reversals. Program free frame reversals and then EX moves. Or invincible moves, I should say. For any character that you're playing. This is how I figure out how to do everything with different characters in the game. Or at least it's a large part of the... the what, what makes the building blocks. You need to go to record wake up. Record guard. And you need to have... I, I always put the first slot on the three frame. Or whatever their fastest attack is. And the same thing for guard. And then when they're guarding something... You want them to do that three frame. So you see how she's doing crouching jab? That's her fast. That's as fast as the moves get in this game. It's three frames. And Kami has a three frame crouching jab. So, if she's mashing because this game loves for you to mash, no offense. I want to know how to frame trap her. So, what you see me doing in matches, crouching jab and then medium punch, doesn't work. It does not work. She can mash. But what I can do in response to that, if they're if they're mashing there, is I can delay my crouching jab. And then get a counter hit. But I barely ever have to do that because most people don't mash after they block a crouching jab. So, the other thing that I do is this here. Medium punch. I, gotta, I have to find their frame trap for this. And that's a good stream because this also this has advantage on block. Which means, if you have frame advantage, you can move before your opponent can move. And then you can be more specific if you look at the... the uh, the attack data where it says frame it tells you plus one um so that means it's my turn but old zeku doesn't have a three frame i only have a four frame so if i'm plus one and my opponent has a three frame and i do not their fastest normal is one frame faster technically we're at the same speed right so if i do this and hit my crouching jab it's gonna trade because it's as if it's even so you gotta find these scenarios everywhere um also what's extremely important is how do you throw them while they're mashing? Is that cool? I can do it with crouching jab. But with standing jab, I'm not sure. I'm out of range. That's another important thing for setting up throws. But crouching jab keeps me in range. The pushback is less on the crouching jab. So I have to build from this crouching jab. So then, if they're thinking about throwing, I can do crouching jab and then wait for them to throw, and then punish it with something like EX, uh, Teki, Medium Punch, EX Teki, that kind of thing. So, the next important thing is knockdowns. You do the same thing when they get, when they're looking like a fool with their pants on the ground, right? So, you throw them, and then boom, they do the crouching jab. So if I throw them, and I hit a roundhouse, it's not fast enough. So I have to hit hard punch, and a medium kick is what I do. So medium kick, it counter hits, but I don't get a lot off of it unless I have V-Trigger. Hard punch will crush counter them. And I can cancel that into some other things. So you want to do the exact same thing for knockdowns. Now, the system in this game is... For knockdowns, you have normal, and you have back recovery, and you have no recovery. Normal recovery happens first in the timeline of events. Back recovery will happen five frames later than the normal recovery would, and it also... Uh, you, 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 you move backwards a little bit. Uh, no recovery. Technically, I think it's used more to bait command grabs. Or if you have a read, if they're going to do a command grab, and then they'll do the command grab and whiff, and then you get up after it. But no recovery, we'll talk about that some other time. I think, for the most part, you should probably default to back recovery, and then when you have a good read, normal recovery. Most of the time. But, so let's say I have a knockdown... Like, like Kid Koku. I confirm into it. You see how that said plus one? 
the exact same scenario as that EX Koku. Against Kami, I don't have anything. I can't dash up and then hit Crouchy Jab. She can mash against it. That's why you see me go for this more often. Because it does more damage, and it's pretty much it. I don't get a good knockdown anyway. So if I do medium kick Koku, I should be plus two. So now I can use my crouching jab. I'm just gonna counter hit her. Did that work? And then counter hit crouching jab. I can confirm into some more things. And then you wanna look at back recovery, right? So same thing. I'm just moving the exact same setup with crouching jab. See how that punished? I can't block there because I'm still recovering from my light attack. That's just how it is. There are some scenarios where you can make it safe and media against one, but I wouldn't worry about that for now. So here's the takeaway. Program record slot one to three frame. Three frame, whatever that character's three frame is. You can use Cammy's crouching jab as a good, a good way to start. Same thing with guard. And then put them on guard. It's a really good way to start. And then you'll start coming up with sequences and start to understand how all the moving parts work together. Is that good? Yeah, frames are really important. You don't necessarily need to memorize numbers, but you gotta know what you do and cannot do. Um, it helps to know it. I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say you don't need it. I think you do. Well, need is not the right word there, but it's definitely important. You can, you can have great setups and not know a thing about frame data if you just do this. And then you can go by, does it work or does it not work? That's really it. But you expedite the process and you understand more things if you understand why it works. It's much more, it's much more of an expedient process. So let's say for example, I look at this knockdown and when I dash up, I'm plus two. So now I know I'm plus seven against the back recovery because it happens five frames later. So that's plus two if they back recover. And I dash up, I always will be plus set, plus five more, right? Plus two plus five is seven, and there's a five frames difference between normal and back recovery. So that means if I know I'm plus seven, I can use something that's 10 frames or less to crush counter them. So my standing hard punch is nine. That's, that's totally good enough. So as long as I'm in range, that's gonna crush counter them. Because I know the numbers and it makes it an easier thing to do. I can just, I can just, you know, pull it from my database, I guess you could say. 